Hello there everyone and welcome to HG Shaves. I'm your host Hans and uh, I'm very looking much looking forward to, and have been looking forward to bring you this very nice shave it's going to be. So a few new products that we are going to be looking at and trying out but before we roll into that we're going to take a look at what we already know and have looked and have used in the channel. The pre-shave is going to be this scentless pre-shaving gel from Goodfellas Smile. Now this is good stuff and it's supposed also to be a uh, shaving gel on its own. I have not tried that out yet. Um, brush is this wonderfully looking brush called Sagrada Familiar from Yaki. There you go, 24mm. A bit of a stouty one, small handle, good backbone on this synthetic knot and we'll be putting some water in here and soaking it even though it doesn't really need to but it's nice. Alright, razor is going to be this Gillette Slim Adjustable, lovely piece of engineering. We're going to put in a brand new mule blade in it. And if there's some beeping in the background, that's just the toilet. There's some kind of a sensor being installed in it. Telling me, oh, I'm leaking, but it's, it's you know, it's, oh, I'm, I'm dripping or something, somewhat, but it's, it's not. It's, it's just reacting to the container being filled for quite a while after being used. All right, so also used, I'm going to be used, is this new bowl, ceramic, a uh, nice lather spot, a nice indicator to put your thumb. Hefty ceramic ball that's beautifully uh, blue purple uh, color from I believe it's called from Live Bin uh, China. Got off AliExpress. Um, was packaged very well. Now this is what I'm really be looking forward to showing you from Extra Cosmetics or Cosmetic Pesca. A wonderful, wonderful shaving cream from Italy. Got notes of, well, obviously peach, lemon, bergamot, and all sorts of, of very nice citrus scents. Now the lid is slightly loose. If I just turn it slightly, I can just take it off. Uh, the other e extra that I have does not have that, so I'm just thinking that somehow either it's the glass, because the glass container by the way, uh, or it's the lid somehow malfunctioning but keep it just in the right place it won't come off um, but there's that. Here's the pour inside. Now due to heating I believe there has been a stamp here with extra on it and that has sort of liquefied slightly but you could just hint it. Scent wise it's a nice scent sort of three out of ten on the mild side, but oh, it's there. It's got some. I get the peach. I get some some citrus in the background, and some kind of of, of warm muskiness in the in sort of the base sense. Now, prior to this, I have forgotten to read up on the scent notes, and I do apologize. But but what's mostly important to me, anyway, is also. Isn't really much the scent notes. You could research that yourself. It's what what do people get out of it? So I'll sort of get my scooper here. So you could do this. Right, I use a spoon, slightly shaking in hand, and it is a shaving cream, so it is quite easy to get some out. This is how it looks. Heavy glass bottle, and it comes with one hundred and fifty milliliters or five ounces quite a lot of shaving cream we'll just drop it sorry to get so close drop it in the bowl just rinse out this spoon here it's in the bowl fits nicely in hand by the way um, and now we kind of spread it out so that the lathering process will become slightly if not much easier now, okay, it looks like a lot here, but it's kind of the usual moment. And by the way, 
Oh, great scent from this. Quite very summery scent. Uh, it's not fitting the weather at all. I had a backup extra plant from British Leather, which I used to sort of <coughs> test London on the face to see how my skin reacted. Um, but I was like, no, we're going to go with the Pesca because I'm very much looking forward to using that. All right, so we'll whip it up. Here's the brush and it'll flick it once, twice and thrice and we'll go ahead and see how it performs. Straight away creates a lather. Absolutely no issues at all, but I can tell it will need a bit more water. Slightly more water. There you go. All right, very nice, as I said, scent is filling out the room as we speak. Nice pesco with a nice peach forward fruity scent. And um, it is doing very well. Look, brush and shaving cream. Mmm, lovely scent. Now, just lathering, the scent strength has come slightly more forward. And it's about, I'll class it as a four, four out of ten, but perhaps I'll change my wind, my wind, my mind, once it gets to my face. Now look at, look at this here. All sorts of nice things. I actually did make another order for another set, this shaving cream called Bucamotto. Calibri, I think, I, I um, like that. All right, I believe this is as good as it's going to get right now. On the ones you're going to get bored. Nice peaks. This is how it looks in the ball. All right, let's wet the face. Put on a pre-shave just to get the face started. When I did actually have another pre-shave before this because I just got on the shower. Okay, just put the lip bag on the soap. Dawn of Glory comes in a bottle like this. Whoops. Has to be added to a wet face. And it'll just give us slightly more slickness just on the first pass as we use an aggressive setting there you go wash this clean off your hands there you go no issues already off okay we'll leave that we'll put this razor blade out of its packaging it's wrapped for once and mule is a razor blade made in Germany Slim adjustable as a twist turban. Very nice construction, these old racers. And we're going to put it all the way up, all the way up to nine. It's close, but it needs a quarter turn. There you go. And we'll put this lather to the face and see how it performs. And I know the slickness wise. I'll only be able to tell the truth or make a truer impressment on the second pass, seeing that I have added a pre-shave just to get my beer started. But look at the lala on this. Nice. It's thick. Scent strength I would actually class as about five now. And I do like the lather a bit more pasty, as this is, but perhaps slightly more water. Let's get the tips. Actually seems to make it thicker, didn't it? Yeah, a bit more water still.
good. Good one. All right. Let's just do some clean up here. Lots of all over the place. Some ear loops as well. Good. This is a very nice sort of sophisticated scent. All right, that's what this. All right, let's see how it goes. Cold water. Cold water shave. Setting nine, slim adjustable. Let's go. As I said, it's a very nice. Very, very nice scent. I really do enjoy it quite a lot, actually. And, um,. It's not like it's only peach you're getting. You're getting a whole long bunch of other scents impressions, but you do get the peach. It is. Very much there. But not in an overpowering way, because you get all the other scent notes as well. You get some citrus notes. And you get some muskiness. It's wonderful actually. This is a very nice scent. And this is just my assessment, obviously. Twenty five euros. I paid more or less for this. Just a sip. About 18. For the splash or aftershave. All right, let's see how we did. Take this. All right. This is a very nice soap, especially if you're going out, I'd say. Second application, here we go. I'll work the bit of water, wetten it slightly. Me spilling all over the place on the floor, which is why I'll do a proper cleaning of the room afterwards. Mm hmm, hmm. It's amazing. Look at the lather on this. Peaks. Right. No irritation to the skin. And I actually usually have quite sensitive skin. It has toughened up since I made the decision to Go over to wet sh traditional wet shaving, but it is still sensitive to some things. Just turn it to setting seven. There you go. Across. There you go, nicely. Very beautiful scent, this. Nice residual slickness as well. Did hurt myself there. Got did a bad 
they go in nicely, very nice. Get second pass that. Yeah, I would love to wear this going out. And I did try out the the other scent that I have bought from him. Tried out the aftershave, just one whiff here, one whiff here. Comes in the spray bottle. And uh, about an hour later. I was going to tuck in the little one, and he was like, who's smelling so nicely? Is that you, Dad? I was like, yeah, I think so. She went over to me, oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> and that wasn't the scent, by the way. But, the very next morning, I overslept, as you use, not usually, but as you do sometimes, occasionally, and I, had to, I did not have the time to put on Find up new clothes, and the, uh, the one that I had from yesterday, I had only worn for a few hours because I, because I got home and then I changed. So I figured it'll be fine, and I still got. Oh, Nick, that was me as well. I don't think there's anything over here though, even though I felt it. So. I really got a very strong set to the west of that scent. And I went back to look at it, and the aftershaves that Extro provide are not aftershave sort of strength wise, it's due to toilettes. So it will last you quite a bit of time. And that scent, even though I had put it on the day before at night time, or in the evening time around six, it lasted me the very next day all the way. 24 hours. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah, by the way, we put it on setting five. It. I believe this was me as well on the first part of the kind of, you know, slightly too much pressure. Oh yeah, expecting alongside the uh, the other cosmetic, extra cosmetic scent, I am also expecting a new razor. Slightly there, still. Sometimes it's difficult to catch these hairs I have right here. I think I got them there. There. They're growing in all different directions right on this cheek here. Was this first part of <laughs> Is this third pass already?
just like there. Still left. And this cheek is another problem spot, actually. Also because the hair grows in all kinds of different directions. Using the Paul H method here. Coming in at an angle. Much better. All right, that's it, I think. So I'll do a face wash and some of the soap that's left, which is, by the way, quite a lot. Um, and I'll see you all at the post shave. Bye bye. All right. That was, as always, amazing. All right. Here's the towel I used today. So good. All right, let's put on some Fayette's Lemon. Now, I don't have the peach one, and it doesn't seem to be able to get that any longer. I would like that. Perhaps on eBay somewhere, if I'm willing to pay enough, that is. Might be someone who's stocked it. I don't seem to find it when I search online anyway. Perhaps I'm just, you know, looking at the wrong places. All right. All right, let's go through what we use, used before we put on matching scent splash here. Razor was the slim adjustable. And inside it, we have a mule, razor blade, sharp blade. It's, but it's quite, different how long or how, how long it lasts and how many shapes I get out of it. Usually it's free, but I've had one get me shapes up until 12 shades when I was trying to, you know, stretch it. You sit on setting 9, 7 and 5. Good one if you could ever get it. Nice twist to open. Raise that. Brush is this wonderful looking stouty brush with good backbone from Yaki called Sagrada Familia like in the cathedral in um, just like there in uh, in Spain good one and the ball this is what's left after three passes and one face wash lots of, not lots but quite a lot of lava still left the ball did its job very nicely it's gorgeously looking it was well packaged and arrived here safely from China uh, inexpensively as well and the pre-shave here we have go dawn of glory from goodfellas smile pre-shaving gel did a very nicely job at, at softening up my skin and beard uh, applying some slickness on the first pass but i didn't test the slickness of the soap wood we used which also from from extra cosmetic there's some logo there on top pesca Wonderful, wonderful shaving cream that's from Extra Cosmetics. Oh yeah. Scent string off the top is about free. Not something that's you know widely strong or amazing. It's there, you get hints of the peach, you get some other citrus citrus notes in the background, but as you lather it, the scent explodes up until 4.5 uh, almost on five scent strength wise. The peach is forward, not overpowering, absolutely gorgeous with the other citrus notes in there. And you get some musky smokiness in the background, which plays along very nicely with the rest of the scents. Amazing, kind of posh scentless, uh, and absolutely splinters from going out on a, on a date or just getting out to get some dinner, trying to be looking nice. All right, let's do this. The aftershave, as you saw in the introduction, comes in this very nicely packaged case here. And it says aftershave here. There you go. And then the next, that's what I saw. You did toilet, that, so it would, hopefully this will last on the verge of just as long as the other scent that I just tried out, but off camera. And I will be very much looking forward to bringing that to you as well. This is how the bottle looks, 100 milliliters. 
and the soap by the way was 150 milliliters 5 ounces and this is 3.38 ounces spray like this let's give it a go oh that's nice Oi, that, oi, that's nice. It has some, some, some menthol in it, so it does have a slight cooling effect on the skin as well. Matches the soap, slightly more uh, peach forward, but has the exact same scent as the soap. I am very pleased with that. I would be wearing this if I just went out, even if I didn't need to shave. So, to sum up, an amazing shave, amazing products, very, very, very recommendable, all of them. Um, so, feeling great. Don't know if I'm looking great, but I feel like I look great. And um, I wish you a very happy weekend, a nice week. Hope to see you in the midweek shave. And um, stay safe and stay healthy and stay positive. And I appreciate your views and your comments. And um, yeah, you should have, you should let them go now, Hans. Oh, should I? Yeah, you should. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, share the video if you like. Amazing product, really, really, really impressed. Extra cosmetics, amazing stuff. Go check it out if you want. Bye bye.